Ultimately, Dark Wave Edge of the Storm, like the franchise, is about family, and it was really important to me that we had very definable characters, um, albeit only a few, um, in, in the movie. So you have Sarah, you know, she is the mother, um, she has a past that is alluded to in terms of her capabilities, a past which has now been passed on to her son, Ben. You know, he is an organic. So she's very defensive, and the reason they're on the run is because the Ministry want Ben. They are hunting organics, either to kill or to contain. So that's her priority. Then you have David. David is the father of, of Ben and also the husband. But he's also a scientist, he's also you know, a physicist, he's into all the, the concept of, of the crystal itself, you know, but he also understands the principle of survival. His priorities are looking after his family. Um, there's lots going on in this uh, movie, uh, in the dark wave world, but ultimately he's He's a good man doing what a good father does and a good husband does. Um, you see him looking for supplies, so he's being practical, literally, you know, looking to feed and shelter his family. You can't just run. You've got to eat, you know, you've got to sleep, you know, you need fuel, um, you need clothing, warmth. So those two characters, the mother and the father, are, are almost at odds. They both want the same thing. They both want to survive, survive by escaping, survive by eating and, and, and fuel and, and, and clothing. Um, but that, that conflicts, and the, the dishes, the, 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 the communications outpost, highlights that conflict. We should just leave it. What? It's too dangerous. Yeah, too dangerous for the Ministry to control. We need to take it with us. Oh, we have enough to worry about without smuggling a crystal, a working one. There's a starlight crystal, but it's also a Ministry outpost. It's the worst possible combination. He thinks practically, there's going to be supplies and there's going to be food, there's going to be medical supplies, but then as you see, once he gets in there, it becomes a different world and then other things start happening to him and this then ties in with what his uh, wife is looking for. And then you have Anderson, uh, Captain Anderson, who is Sarah's father. Yeah, I'm Captain Anderson, uh, captain of the uh, supply ship, intergalactic supply ship, uh, which is who has been separated from his daughter for the last 20 years. They finally meet, and the, uh, the meeting is very emotive and very candid. Supply ship Horizon, A-5-6. We got your signal. Dad? Dad? I say again, this is Captain Anderson. Dad, of... it's me, Sarah. My aim is that the people can relate to that. So whether they're speaking to a lost one, you know, a loved one, whatever, you know, the script between Anderson and Sarah, hopefully the audience is, they're forgetting it's about space, they're forgetting it's about the dark wave. Now it's just about, you know, two family members who haven't seen each other for 20 years just trying to talk to each other. I miss you. And that is the essence of the dark wave universe. That's what the dark wave did. You know, it, it split everybody apart. You know, families divided millions, billions of light years apart. There's no hope. Except there is, because the phoenix is coming. The ministry is losing its grip, and then you see the phoenix. This is the edge of the storm.